I know somebody gonna say, bro, every time you shoot a video, you always eating. That's why you fat now. And you know what? You will be 100% right. I slick don't appreciate how long this line is at Zaxby's, dog. Like, this line is long as hell. I want to do this video today, man, because I have, like, it's a few questions that I've gotten on, on Facebook. Like, people asking me why I stopped doing wave videos. I've done a few videos explaining why I stopped doing wave videos, but then I, like, you know, I came back and started doing video, hair videos again. But this time, I, I think I'm done. Now, I'm going to choose my words in a way I don't want nobody to feel as though I'm disrespecting them. Because by no means am I saying anything that's false about the wave community. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't realize people actually, like, looked up to me when they when it came to having waves until I went to like a a few like hair shows you feel me and like folks actually recognized me and I was like damn or like I'll be I'll go to the mall or I'll go to like a gas station or something and people be like yo overdose last bro even when I, I did the Omegle video and like homie recognized me and you know that made my day bro but the the reason why I truly stopped doing wave videos was because I felt as though I was being exploited. You feel me? Like I felt as though y'all on folks only wanted me for this. What was on my hair and and you know what I'm saying my little hair tips and me just brushing my hair instead of like what comes out of my mouth. And I feel as though what comes out of my mouth and the things I say and the experiences that I can like I can sit here and, and talk to y'all about is way more important than me than any wave tips that I can give you you know what I'm saying and I started feeling like like a stripper you feel me? Like, I literally started feeling like a stripper. Like, somebody gonna be like, but how does that make any sense? That analogy doesn't make any sense. All right. Think about the baddest chick you know, right, on Instagram that just make twerk videos, okay? And then imagine one day she made a video giving you advice about life. I'm pretty sure... 80 to 90 percent of her followers is not going to take her serious and i understand you know you probably follow her because you want to see that ass jiggle just like you follow me because you want to see my wave shine but at some point in time the person get tired of that like i got literally tired of being exploited like i literally felt like a stripper you know what i'm saying and to be honest with you, like, from since I started, like, doing wave videos, I knew for sure that the wave community isn't a, a loyal community. Again, don't feel disrespected, but it's the truth, okay? When I, before I started doing wave videos, like, the one of the top people I remember was uh, Wave God, was it Wave God 319? But Wave God, I remember Wave God, right? And I don't know what happened in Wave God's life, but, like, he started doing, like, real, like, thought-provoking videos. And I, I actually, I'm one of those people, bro, it don't matter what type of video you do, if I support you, I support you. You know what I'm saying? So, unless you start doing BS. Like, if you start doing nonsense, then I'm going to be like, all right, you know what? I'm good off him. But son wasn't really, he wasn't doing nonsense, bro. He started really, like, preaching you feel me and I, I watched how them videos like got no views and then eventually i guess he went a little too far as far as what youtube would allow and they deleted his channel but i watch how like y'all folks these people i ain't gonna say y'all folks but these people who follow him because for his hair Black folks in that too. You know what I'm saying? Young black men 
who could have benefited from the things that he was saying, and y'all didn't support him. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, with me, I'm I don't really do thought provoking stuff, but I be saying real stuff at the end of the day, cause you need to hear real shit. You know what I'm saying? And I give you an example now. You know, I, I ain't gonna say me and son like are the best of friends. We not. We had our issues, but it's probably it's probably one of the smartest motherfuckers I know on YouTube. And for a long time, I just felt as though he was, like, wasting his time doing hair videos because he could be teaching people a lot more. I'm talking about J. Lou. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say his name. I'm talking about J. Lou. Probably one of the smartest people, bro. You can hear how he speak. Son is just a f freaking legit smart. And, like, I do, I trade Forex and stuff. And then he did a Forex video, bro. Out of, out of all the videos he's ever done, I've, I sat there and watched that whole video. And, like, he said everything correct from point A to point B. Now I know some people will be like, well, I, we didn't subscribe to him from for Forex and understandable. Understandable, bro, but guess what? You could have learned some shit. You would have learned how to make some money. You would have learned how to make some money, bro. Just how just how y'all sit there and be like, man, he's so detailed when it comes to this wave stuff, bro. Like, the way he breaks it down is Son sat there and broke down the forex, the forex joint, bro. And 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 I know that what he did, it was a sample. And the same folks that could have benefited from that, that video ain't get compared to his other videos. It didn't get no views like that. You know what I'm saying? And like I just feel as though the wave community. Y'all don't appreciate the people. Like y'all don't y'all don't want them to move on. And that joint is sad. Like they could move on when it comes if they're doing something still pertaining to hair. And that shit is trash, bro. I just feel as though that is trash. Like I'm grateful to see the people that have like became very successful of with doing like hair videos. Like, you know, 360 Jeezy is a a, a celebrity barber. Poppy Blasted got one of the most successful, like, uh, business as far as, like, hair products and stuff like that, which I, which, which I think is really dope because for a long time, the people that was making, like, our hair products, they, they was trash. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and get this food, get this food, man. Hey, what can I get started for you? Hey, how you doing? Can I get a, um, what are all right, let me get two number fives, right? Two number fives? Yeah, let me get two number fives. And what are the drinks? Uh, Let me get two Arnold Palmer's. Two Arnold Palmer's? What else can I get for you? And then um, let me get a side of, like, a, a extra side of fries. Like another order of fries? Mm-hmm, yeah. Regular fries? Anything else? Uh, no, nah, that's it. I'll so I have down for you? two kicking chickens, both with Arnold Palmer and regular fries? Uh-huh. Will that be everything? Yeah, that's it. Seventeen ninety. Seventeen sixty four. Ah, uh, here you go. You could just insert it in. Oh, shit. My fault. Oh, shit. Alright. Alright, uh, that's good? Yes. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day, thank you. You too. Alright, yeah, bro. So, you know, so like I was saying, Poppy Blaster got one like the, the best products on the market. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that because he's one of ours. You know, Nick Wavy is like a very successful businessman. He tries different ventures. You feel me? Um, and and I'm happy for that. I'm definitely happy for for, for them. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of us, we were just good at giving wave tips. Like we didn't a hundred percent want to be barbers or we didn't we didn't want to start our own products and for me like i had idea for products to start for as far as like moisturizers and stuff like that but my heart was not a hundred percent in it man and like i tell y'all a lot on on the channel if you're not a hundred percent with something you shouldn't do it you should never do it because what you're going to do is be in a relationship with no love in it. And that never works.
You just doing stuff for money. I'm not about doing stuff for money. If you look at the videos I do now, I just do what I feel like doing. If you with it, you with it. Since I started back doing videos, I probably done lost like 200 subscribers. And I'm going to lose a lot more. But at the same time, you know, if I get down to 500 subscribers, I am not going to care. You know why I'm not going to care? Because that's 500 people that rock with me. I don't even look at that 33,000 anymore. I don't look at that. I don't care about that. Because out of those 33,000 people, it might be 200 people that really care about me. That really care about what I'm saying. And that's through 200 lives that I could help. You feel me? Based on like the experiences that I done had. You feel me? That's 200 people who might be having a bad day. And could literally go watch my videos and be like, man, yo, I... I feel better. I knew I was going through something and, and, and you made this video and it just it just made my day. And that's all I care about, bro. To be honest, that's all I care about. Like I don't I don't I don't care about that big number. Sometimes and I think that's what was adding to my to my stress and my depression was trying to please thirty three thousand people. Thirty three thousand strangers when I could just do videos that please me. And the people that really rock with me. You feel what I'm saying? And I didn't feel as though the majority of the people in the wave community really rocked with me like that. Yeah, honestly, y'all don't rock with none of us like that. Y'all rock with our hair. Just like folks who subscribe to bitches that twerk, you don't you don't care about her. If, if her ass was disconnected from her, that's all you cared about. You could care less if you actually saw her face or heard, heard her voice. All you cared about was that ass. All y'all care about is, well, what product he using? What brush he using? Damn, is, did he get rid of that fork? Sheesh. So what's going to happen when you go bald, right? Jeezy is protected. He's Gucci. He go bald, he's straight. Um, PB is, is Gucci. If he go bald, he's straight. Because I think the dude that, that actually do the... um. I'm not sure, cause I seen I seen him on uh on the home network. He was like buying a crib or something like that. But the dude that made the cut buddy, I'm not sure if he bald. I'm not 100 percent sure if he bald. But you know he he a black man. I I love to see my black people making it. You feel me? But all I'm saying is like for me, I felt as though I was wasting my time. You feel me? I felt as though I was wasting my time. A lot of these brothers that do the hair videos, man, they can they can show you so much more. So much more. And it's, it's just a pity that, you know, in our community, we're not allowed to branch out and show you different things. These Call of Duty folks, I was going to say the N-word, these dudes that play Call of Duty can do it anything and 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 them little they support them these dudes that play 2k can do anything and folks support them you feel me who else all these other communities can do whatever and they get supported it's not like folks over here is corny i'm not corny i know i'm not corny i'm not tr you feel me i'm not no lame i'm not calling them folks lame but i'm not no lame so for me to be showing you like other things and you not really rocking with it like that, you know, it, it, it breaks my heart and hurts my feelings. Cause at the end of the day, majority of the videos that I make is is advice. Don't do what I did. You feel me? Don't go over here and do the nasty with females when they're drunk. Cause there's a chance ten years from now, twenty years from now, thirty years from now, she might look back on that and say, Yo, he sexually assaulted me. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure no book. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies is killing me. But yeah, I make videos like that. You feel me? Um, what well, well, other things I've I've spoken about? You know, there's a chance that because some of y'all were young on my channel, there's a chance that your girlfriend in high school. Y'all are going to break up when she goes to college. Don't feel no type of way about that. It's because you need to grow. She's getting a chance to grow. And if she broke up with you, she's giving you an opportunity to grow yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it that serious. It's not a fairy tale. We grew up the wrong way. They they, they grew up. We grew up reading 
books like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and 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 uh, Rapunzel and all that, where the prince and and the, and and the female live happily ever after, and that's not true. That's not gonna be true for you, cause you think your first love in high school, y'all gonna y'all gonna be together forever. And no, that's not that's not the case, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And even even if you cheat, like like dudes dudes are cheat. And when they girl do anything, they take it hard. Don't be like that. You feel me? I, I make videos about stuff like that. Just being realistic. Oh, let me get this food right there. 1764. Oh, I, I paid shorty up there. Appreciate that, bro. Shit, bro. Damn, so I, I thought I was going to have a double pay. All right, thank you, man. But yeah, so, so I, I make I make videos like that. And a lot of times, you know, it, it upsets me because the videos come from a, from a good place. It comes from a good place. So, yes. So, damn, that accurate. Yo, y'all seen it? I've never seen this accurate before. That joint look good. That's the new TLX. The new TLX is sexy. But, like I was saying, you know, that's pretty much my, my reason for, for stop stopping doing videos. I'm literally not trying to please my whole subscriber base. I'm just trying to please the people that, that rock with me. And really, I'm trying to please myself. And that's that's what it's about. If you take anything from the video, take this. Please yourself first and think about other people later. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, I've been a people pleaser all my freaking life, bro. Even when I did, like, bad things, I I, I ended up doing bad things because I was such a people pleaser that when somebody disappointed me, you know, I felt the need to, to, to do something. Like, I felt the need to get revenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then sometimes people will do things and I'll just hold it in and not say anything. And then it'll build up, build up, build up. And by the time I felt like like retaliate, retaliating and doing something about it, it'll be built up so much that whatever I did was unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm working on that. Stop being such a people pleaser. Please yourself first. You feel me? So if you take anything from this video, take that. You feel me on some ditties? Take that, take that. Pause, pause. But yeah, man. I hope you know. I hope I hope you made it through the whole video. If you did make it to the vi whole video, make sure you leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about what I was saying. Am I being far fetched? You know, am I am I reaching? I hope you don't think I'm reaching. All right. Let me I'm gonna go eat this food though. Alright, squad.